hello guys welcome back to my channel e-study today we will learn prim's algorithm for finding minimum spanning tree if you know the concept of minimum spanning tree you are fine however if you don't know the minimum spanning tree concept you should watch my previous video made on this topic so let's move on and look this example here a telephone company wants to connect nearby houses so here is the central office so the naive approach is to connect all these houses is look like this a single line from his house to the central office that is too expensive because it needs more wires However, if we can connect like this, that can minimize the total length of wires as well as it minimizes the total cost. So this is the better approach as well as this approach looks like minimum spanning tree. Now, we have to calculate the minimum spanning tree of the following graph, I mean that this graph using the Prim's algorithm. So we need to understand the Prim's algorithm steps. So there are three steps for Prim's algorithm. First, start with any vertex. So we should start from any vertex among seven. So let us start with vertex one. In steps two, check outgoing edges and select the one with the smallest cost without making cycle. So in vertex one, there are three edges are connected two, one, and four. So the smallest one is this one, one to four. We select this and it does not create any cycle. So now we are connected to vertex one and four. So we have to find the next smallest edge connected to these vertices. So that is this two and this two. Now we have to look for minimum edge that is connected to all these four vertices. So with this three, however, if you take this three, it will make a cycle here. So we cannot take this three next minimum edge is four but we cannot take this because it creates a cycle here however we can now connect this one because this is the minimum one and it does not make any cycle now we have to find the next smallest edge connected to these five vertices one two three four and seven and that is definitely this one. Now we have to find the next minimum edge that is connected to all these vertices. That is five. However, if we take this five, it will make a cycle here. So we cannot take this. So the next smallest edge is seven to five, that is six. So we covered all the vertices and the algorithm will done when it covers all the vertices. So we have done it and the minimum spanning cost here is two, one, three, five, nine, ten, and six, sixteen. I think you understand how to calculate the minimum spanning tree. Let's move on a real life example. Here is a real life example. The local state government wants to build the new road networks among different cities. So here are the different cities, city A to city G. The local government wants to connect all these cities with the new road system. The distance in miles between the cities are given in the following graph. So here are the distance between the cities that is given in mile. 
Now calculate the minimum spanning tree or the minimum lengths of road to connect all these cities using PIMS algorithm. So now our task in two is to find the minimum spanning tree that will be the minimum length of road required to connect all these cities. So we have to use the PIMS algorithm and we know in the first step of PIMS algorithm select any vertex from the network graph. So let's start with vertex T. Now select the smallest edge connected to this vertex. So the smallest edge is 70 and 70. Both are fine because it does not create a cycle. The next smallest edge connected to this three city, city A, city D and city C, which is this 70. Now we have to find out the next smallest edge connected to these four cities, which is this 60. Now we have to find the next smallest edge connected to these five cities, which is ditch 80, this 80. We cannot take this one and this one as it makes a cycle here. If you take this one, it will make a cycle here. And if you take this one, it will make a cycle here. So we covered all the vertices. So we have done. So the minimum length of road required to connect all these cities is 80 plus 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus 60 plus 80 which is equal to 430. I think you understand clearly. Now you should pause the video and try yourself this example which is another real life example and please leave your answer in the comment box i will reply right away still if you have any question please raise your question in the comment box i will try my best to answer all of your queries thank you very much for watching this video bye bye Please like, comment and subscribe my channel.